Welcome. Today we're going to be doing a brief review of Crick Crack Monkey by Mill Hodge. This book has got to be my favorite book ever. Um, I think it ties with A House for Mr. Beeswas. I forget who wrote A House for Mr. Beeswas, but I love the two of them equally. The book Crick Crack Monkey explores um, the world of T, who has just lost her mother in childbirth due to ch well in childbirth. Her dad emigrated to England after the death of the mother and the baby, and she is left with the dad's sister. And there is a battle for custody of sorts for her and her little brother between the dad's sister and the deceased mom's sister. The dad's sister is um, rough around the edges. She doesn't appear to have any children of her own. She's a godmother to an older boy, a teenager in the house living with them. His name is Mikey. And the mom's sister is called um, Aunt Beatrice. So we have Tanti and Aunt Beatrice. Tanti is rough around the edges. She is full of um, mirth. She's loud, she's boisterous, and she says what's on her mind. Auntie Beatrice, Aunt Beatrice, sorry, is pretentious and she's of the Negro middle class. And I'm left to believe Tanti is of the uh hmm, is lower on the socioeconomic scale as it may seem, as it may be. But T has to navigate those two worlds she loves in the beginning she loves living with tanti exploring the estates going to the rivers with um, mikey and then when she wins some scholarship she goes to live with aunt beatrice i think because the school is near aunt beatrice and beatrice's home and the environment at Aunt Beatrice is pretentious. She has to navigate the Negro middle class in Trinidad in the 1960s. And um, hmm, let's just say she was having a time. And um, the story ends when she really didn't want to choose whether or not living with Tanti or living with Aunt Beatrice uh, whether or not she had to make a choice. It ends with her wishing that she was um, on her way, on the plane, on her way to England to meet her dad. Because towards the end of the book, you find her dad sending for her and her little brother, Todden. If you like um, fiction, island fiction, um, fiction detailing island life in the, in the 60s, 50s, 50s, 60s, 70s, you are going to love this book. It kind of reminds me of settings like Green Days by the River, A House for Mr. Beeswas, one of my favorites, Plains of Caroni, um, these kinds of books. And I just love it. And if you get an opportunity to read it, you should. I hope I didn't um, spoil it too much for anyone who hasn't read it. But it's a very, very, very great read. 10 out of 10, I would recommend.